Welcome, Scorpio, to your February 6th through the 12th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Best message coming out. This message. As somebody you might feel like either you are procrastinating or somebody is procrastinating around you. Um, they could be feeling very unmotivated at this time. This person around you might even you might even feel like they have a lack of commitment <clears throat> when it comes to your love or anything, right? It could be anything. It could be a lack of commitment to go to work. <laughs> With that pinnacle over there. Um, let's see what's going on. Not getting a nope, it's love. Knight of Cups, you want them to come towards you, but you feel like they have a lack of commitment. Maybe they're scared of commitment. Um, you're trying to follow your heart within the situation. You want them to follow their heart. Feels like, you know, it's like Knight of Cups, I'm trying to follow my heart towards you, but you're not committing yourself to me. Yeah, definitely love over here, my friends. So definitely feeling like they're not putting in the effort that you would like them to put into this love relationship. I feel like some of them are scared to commit themselves um, to you. So you might be feeling like you're feeling stuck over here. Might even be feeling a little bored around the situation as they're not really moving. So there is definitely this unmotivated so I, I feel like the unmotivated is in both areas. You feel stuck and feeling unmotivated to try and fix the situation because they have lack of, of commitment. They don't want to give you that cup of love. They don't want to share that cup of love with you. So it's almost like they maybe they only got so far within sharing this cup of love and then they pulled back. So it could make you feel like there's an elephant in the room when it comes to the relationship, not knowing what to say. Um, you might not be afraid to talk about, you know, this situation, but you do might feel like they have insecurities and do not want to talk about it. Somebody is not talking and opening up when it comes to this situation um, about how they really feel. So you might feel like they are being a little greedy with their heart. Um, right, right again, no motivation. Again, uninspired. And you, you might even be pulling back. I do feel like you could be pulling back as well. Not sure how you're going to bring this up. Um, I feel like you've expressed how you're going to express yourself. You've given all you can. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're waiting for them to open up. So where they're not opening up. <clears throat> Clarify why they're not opening up. I just feel it's fear. No passion. Something could have happened within this relationship where they felt very overwhelmed. Uh, they feel like they're a little on edge when it comes to the situation. They may even be a little paranoid to wanting to give it their love. Maybe they had struggled once before and yeah, showing insecurities. Um, if you guys have had any kind of fight or anything like that, they're just not sure about how this is going to go. So you might even find this them to be a little rigid when it comes to offering this commitment. So I do feel like they are a bit rigid when it comes to this situation. Like I said, there's an elephant in the room for sure um, when it comes to this situation. Waiting for them to open up with the King of Swords. Um, it does feel like, you know what, I'm going to speak my truth. It feels like you're going to want to stand up and speak your truth about the situation. Um, taking on this leadership role over here. Um, wow, it's either you or them. Because one is really holding back over here. One wants to talk and one does not want to talk. Take that how it resonates. Energies can change. Because it looks like, you know, it might be you who has the courage over here to say, you know what, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I've been hesitant about this situation, holding back so long. Now I'm going to go ahead and speak my truth about the situation. I'm going to speak it head over heart. I want you to know exactly how I feel about this situation. And I do feel like they're now they're pulling back even more so. So it could have been that you both were pulling back from each other. That's where the elephant in the room scenario is really coming through. And now it's like someone really wants to open up. And the other one's just definitely holding 
holding back and continuing to hold back. Because somebody wants to confront the elephant in the room. That's it. I wasn't going to do it before, but now I feel like I want to because this is stirring up all this confusion, right? Somebody's being greedy with their heart. Hmm. Missed opportunity. You don't want to miss the chance that it has within this situation, right? King of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is like, I don't want to miss out on this, this information that I want to give you. I, I want to tell you exactly how I feel about this situation. I really think it's you. Um, but, but you start to feel kind of this deliberate greed of the heart, not wanting to open this holding back. This isolation. Yeah. Withdrawing. There it is again, the hermit withdrawing. They don't know how to connect. They don't know how, they don't know what they're supposed to do. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to this situation. Clarify on the overall, how is this going to end? With the Ten of Cups in the world. So however this is going to end in this situation, it does feel like no matter what, you're going to get the victory that you want. It's just going to be a challenge to really want to open up their heart and make them understand um, after the disappointment. So they're, they're definitely, does definitely look like you're going to fix this situation, but not after the challenge. I mean, they're going to really guard themselves to the situation because of all the disappointment. Um, there, yeah, like I said, there could have been some arguments and stuff that went on within this situation. So after they get out of the Four of Cups, they definitely feel like you're going to have the Four of Wands. So this definitely is going to reunite you guys and make you feel like, you know what, we're back to where we're supposed to be. Finally feeling like we are getting the commitment that we need. And boy, is it going to be a struggle though. You're going to actually have to really have hope and calm over here. This person may need some healing before the situation um, can continue down that road. Uh, there was some kind of painful ending that happened to this person or yourself. Now, if you know that the, ro the roles can be switched, of course. So the dishonesty of the Seven of Swords is actually the dishonesty of the love itself. It's the dishonesty of how I really truly feel about you. It was almost like they were holding themselves back, trying to, well, I don't need that, you know, that's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's a dishonesty. It's a self-sabotage. It's being dishonest with their own heart, their own feelings. But once they realize, you know what, I can get past this, I do realize that you are my shining, you know, my shining light. You are my one, my one and only. I just have to get past the obstacles and the challenges of myself. I think this person needs a lot of healing. I get a lot of healing cards going on over here either healing of this relationship or healing of themselves. And yeah, I just seen the, <clears throat> it's going to take patience and time though for this healing um, to take place. You know, with the temperance, right? So right now they're really guarding their heart um, at this time. And that's, you know, there's going to be, have to be a lot of, like I said, a lot of open communication coming out of this situation. Right now, there's just so much confusion. They don't, they're not sure where they're supposed to go, what they want to do. They're not sure if they want to plan anything with you. Um, but in the near future, it does look like, you know what, everything's going to settle itself back down. There is going to be, you know, some rec reconciliations. There's going to be some apologies. There's going to be that openness that is so needed to get you guys together to go exactly where you need to be. But this baggage, this weight, these skeletons in the closet, this, this, pretending like I think I know my heart or um, pretending that my heart is not really in love with you, that my heart doesn't, you know, I don't need that or whatever that is, is all going to, it's all a facade. It's all going to go away um, just as soon as that wheel turns. But definitely, like I said, you're definitely going to have to have that heart to heart conversation is going to be needed. And I do see that coming, you know, towards the... <clears throat> the near future over here, that that's definitely going to work itself out. That's definitely going to be the play. But right now you're going to have to just sit over here and think, okay, so you're telling me that the, uh, ha, you know, the elephant in the room scenario is going to have to happen until someone breaks the ice, right? Okay. Like I said, it's either going to be you or them. Who's ever going to go after it first, right? The healing energy 
flows through you. Like I said, somebody needs a lot of healing over here to be able to get to the wonderful, you know, the wondrous universe, to get to that magic, to get to that place um, of where we can feel like we're connected. So right now it says everybody's a little fogged in. Just go slow and take your time. Don't try to rush them right? Or rush yourself or however it is, just go with the flow. Allow your passions, you know, to take over. So way you can say what you need, you need to say, right? Yes. And take your action with passion. Nice. Showing that overall love, that overall I care, you know, and I really want to fix this. I really want to be with you. I really want this to go places, right? Okay. Beautiful reading, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.